Hello everyone, I'm Chris. I'm with Unique Games. I'd like to take this time to tell you about our version of bocce ball and how to play it. First off, we want you to understand we did not use the official rules when we created our version of bocce ball. So the way that it's played is different than the official rules. So we wanted everyone to be able to have, you know, a little easier game to play, you know, for all ages. So we hope you understand. So what we want to go off into here is explain the main menu, play, options, credits, high scores, and a link to visit our website. First off we want to do is go into options. Under here we have master audio. This allows you to turn off all the audio in the game. All the music, all the ambient sounds, all the button sounds. As you can see you can turn all those off individually right here. Team turn message allows you to turn the message for who's turn it is to play on and off. We'll get into that in just a minute when we start playing and you'll see it pop up on the screen. You can come here and turn it off and it just allows for a quicker gameplay. Reset high scores allows you to clear the high scores that show up here. So if you have all your high scores listed here and you want to start over, pressing that option on there makes it all go away. Under credits, it's a listing for all credits for everybody that was involved in building the game and they did a fantastic job. So let's jump into play, and from here, we're going to go over the single and multiplayer options. Here on our single and multiplayer menu, it allows for multiple choices. One is going to be single player, or only a single person using a single device playing against the AI. The multiplayer is going to be two people playing on a single device, or two people playing against each other using different devices. On the multiplayer, we'll cover that in another video later on. Right now, let's jump on right on into the single player version. What we have here under our single player options is our four difficulty levels and our four environments. On the right hand side, you'll see a preview window. That is the preview of each environment. Right now, you're looking at Oasis. Here is the beach, forest, and lake. Now when it comes into the single player options, everything defaults to our first row in the column. So basically you were seeing the oasis scene in the preview window. It, it is also defaulting to the easy difficulty level. So if you come right in single and then press start, you're going to go right in to those defaults and start playing with those options. Okay, what we have here is our HUD, our heads up display. Across the top we have our scoring display for both teams. Over on the left hand side we have pause. Pause allows you to pause the game in case you get a phone call or someone's at the door to kind of give you an idea how the game state was at. Pressing this window right here you will make it go away and the game will continue on where you left off. Menu allows you to go back to the main menu to get everything to start all back over again and get everything set up and choose single or multiplayer, change options, things of that nature. Review frame. Review frame is after you've thrown the ball and you've got all your balls down range and it's the end of the match and you want to review how all the balls lie. So you can see whose ball is closest to what and that type of situation. That's what that does for you. Over on the right hand side we have our power meter. The power meter starts from the top and goes to the bottom and it's based on when you click at the top of the screen and drag down with your finger or mouse pointer the arrow on the side of the power meter will go from the top down. Over on the right hand side here you'll see aim and toss. Now what this is, it's a mode. Aim mode, toss mode. In aim mode when you press aim it allows you to put a pointer on the court. If you'll notice it just stays on the court. If I try to click off anywhere, water, tree, sand, anywhere else on the post it never changes but as soon as I click on the court you'll see that the pointer is placed. Now that I've aimed where I want I want to press toss so that I can throw the ball. Now again watch the power meter as I touch the screen drag it down and I want to throw the ball. So my jack ball is now out on the court. What this gives me is that we have to aim again but aim is going to have a secondary function this time because now that the jack ball is on the court we can do an aim again which allows us to zoom into the jack ball. So placing our aim pointer again where we want it, pressing toss to go back into throw mode, we can now 
put our finger on the screen, drag it down, and release the ball. And you'll see that it throws the ball out. Team 2 is going to uh, throw their ball out, and you'll see how it works. Well, we hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and um, we really enjoyed making the game for you. We will have our uh, multiplayer video out soon, and if you have any questions or any problems, please, we would very much like to hear from you on the feedback and any issues you may have so we can take care of you. Thank you very much.